Hi, welcome to time complexity upper bound calculation session using a table method. So here uh, the quadratic function is given as f of n 2n square plus 3n plus 2. So for calculating the upper bound uh, uh, time, we should use the uh, big O of uh, n. Uh, here the big O of n is having the criteria 0 less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c into g of n. c is the constant. Uh, so uh, constant and uh, the initial input size should be always uh, greater than 0. So we are substituting the value to n square plus 3n plus 2 uh, f of n and here we don't know the c into g of n but the c into g of n is always greater than the f of n. So here we can omit or we can we have to find out the higher order term the higher order term is the n square so here we are having the 2 n square the we will ignore this um, lower order term constant and uh, the 1 n power 1 degree 1 uh, then in the higher order term uh, we will take the 2 n square then next term is 3 n square then ne four, uh, next term is 4 n square etc so here uh, the c into g of n is greater than f of n greater than f of n so next term this is the f of n so which should be less than or equal to c into g of n so next term is 3 n square so we will consider the greater term of this 2 n square is 3 n square so we will take the 3 n square here then we will apply the tabular method f of n is 2n square plus 3n plus 2 here c into g of n so here when you are substituting the 1 you will get uh, here uh, 2 into 1 2 plus 3 into 1 3 plus 2 so you will get the value and here 3 into 1 so this is false less than or in, so this is actually f of n should be less than or equal to c into g of n so this is false then uh, for, when you are substituting 2 you are getting 16 is the f of n c into g of n is 12 this is also false so then for, when you are substituting 3 here 29 uh, uh, less than or equal to 27 this is also false then when you are substituting the n equal to 4 uh, here 46 less than or equal to 48 yes it is true then when you are checking next number 5 67 uh, uh, then less than or equal to c into g of n is 75 which is also true so from the 4 onwards uh, here n0 equal to 4 so from the 4 onwards f of n uh, always less than or equal to c into g of n so from the table we can conclude uh, at the n greater than or equal to 4 uh, from the n greater than or equal to 4 the given function is uh, true so we can conclude the constant value is 3 from the given function c into g of n and g of n is n square n square c of g of n is n square then n0 equal to here the initial value n0 equal to here 4 so uh, like this we can have multiple pairs you can take 4 n square here the next term so here uh, we can take 4 n square next term we can take 5 n square so there is the possibility of infinity number of infinity uh, well infinity terms you can substitute and find out the uh, constant and n0 value the first we have taken the first term after the 2 n square to uh, prove the uh, given f of n is less than or equal to c into g of n thanks for uh, watching